fact, Congressman Alan West recently told the great one, Mark Levin, that it's, quote, silly to try and work with somebody who he believes is a, quote, Marxist, socialist, rigid ideologue. Here to elaborate on those comments, the man himself, Florida Congressman Colonel Alan West. Colonel, I don't remember that you ever said Marxist, socialist before. Maybe being freed up from Congress has allowed you to say that, or maybe I'm wrong in not hearing it before. No, I've said that before because I think when you sit down and you look at the policies that have emanated from President Obama, his administration, this entire class warfare rhetoric that we continue to hear is definitely a Marxist theory. When you look at the nationalizing of production, being the health care industry, the Dodd-Frank with the financial industry, the automobile industry, what Lisa Jackson and the EPA is doing to the energy sector, and of course the National Labor Relations Board, that's nationalizing production. When you look at the incredible expansion of the welfare nanny state, and all of a sudden this belief of uh, economic fairness, economic patriotism, fairness and fair shot, those are uh, the type of policies and theories that are not consistent with a constitutional republic, definitely not consistent with our founding fathers and the type of people that they read, being Rousseau, Montesquieu, or, or John Locke. And so when you talk about the arrogance of the president, we reelected someone that went from $10.6 trillion to $16 trillion in debt. We've had four straight years of trillion dollar deficits. We've had an incredible uh, earth shattering numbers of Americans in poverty, Americans on food stamps. We've seen a 32% increase in welfare spending. We've seen gas prices being exorbitantly high. So he has every right to be arrogant and feel that he is never going to be held responsible. But